Achievements. For some, they're a distraction and a part of gaming that's not even worth thinking about. For others, however, they're little badges of honour and a way to keep track of your progress through certain games. We've just got hold of the list for FIFA 16, so it seems like a good time to go back and look through some of the worst achievements from FIFA history. FIFA Street from 2012. Friendly publicity. All you need to do is watch a video posted by one of your friends as the lead profile. Piece of cake, right? Not really, as the video feeds you needed to watch were never updated, meaning that even three years on from the game's release, it still looks like this. Not surprising really, given that the game's server stayed up for just two years, meaning this one stays unobtainable forever. Remember when FIFA had challenge modes? Well, FIFA 08 had them and also had achievements for completing them. The craziest being the Football Legend achievement for finishing challenge mode region 10. Sounds pretty simple, except all the matches in this region are on legendary and have mental caveats like score two goals with a defender, don't concede any corners, win in regular time. That all needed to be done in one match. Or how about 100% of shots on target with 90% possession and 90% pass completion? Sure, no problem. 2014 FIFA World Cup Brazil presented you with the challenge of winning the World Cup online with a 0.5 to 1.5 star team. No, 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 no. Why would anyone put themselves through that pain? As awful as that sounds, it was actually a touch more generous than the against all odds achievement from 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa, which was the same, but using only one star teams or less. Why not have a crack at the online World Cup with Turkmenistan, eh? What's the worst that could happen? Madness. The Peterson from FIFA 09 isn't actually difficult at all, and most FIFA fans that played 09 will have unlocked it, but for serious achievement hunters, a measly one gamer score for 50 hours work has got to hurt. Manager Merry Go Round from FIFA 08 is probably the most appropriately named achievement ever. Play 15 years for 15 different clubs in 15 different countries. That's the kind of world tour that would make Nicholas and Nelka jealous. A bit of a slog, especially as it's achieved in the old manager mode, so whilst you could sim games, there was no sim to date in manager to help you through it. Doable, but incredibly time consuming. Diving headers. Don't see them too often, but FIFA 09 had an achievement for scoring one, which I wasn't able to get. For some reason, it just eluded me, despite actively spamming crosses to Peter Crouch for about an hour. I'll never get that hour back. More diving header nonsense, this time at the other end, as FIFA 14 asked you to perform a clearance with a diving header. Again, a total nightmare and pretty much random, not unlike Keeper's best friend from FIFA 15. These gameplay ones started to creep in recently and are largely luck-based and pretty much Random. Well, they know their positions here, they know their jobs defending this corner. Well, the goal not given, Alan, and we can see why now. Speaking of random, this one is exactly that. There was an achievement for finding a team of the week player in FIFA 12, something they repeated in FIFA 13. I did unlock them, but that was a bit naughty given the nature of packs. Someone, somewhere, will have purchased FIFA points to unlock those achievements. The loser. EA have had a few achievements over the years that could prey on the completionists out there as the popularity of Ultimate Team rose, like the growing club achievement from FIFA 12 or I love this club from FIFA 13, both for having a club value of over 85 million. Doesn't sound like a lot, but actually, if you're not that big a fat player, it can take a while to get there. Those are comparable to Resource King from FIFA 10 earned for opening 500 packs. That's a lot of packs to end up with nothing to show for it, apart from a little digital badge. The Complete All Scenarios achievement from 2006 FIFA World Cup was a horrible, lengthy slog through the cheating AI and ridiculous scenarios, but at least there was a hefty 500 gamer score at the end of it. In FIFA 07, winning streak gave you 90 for going on a 60 match unbeaten run. A single draw would scupper your streak, but to make things easier, it was only on semi-pro difficulty. A 60 win grind against the AI does not sound like a party. But perhaps the most offensive of them all came from the Euro 2012 DLC. The Collector achievement asks you to collect all the mosaic pieces in Expedition Mode. To get them all, you'll need to beat every single one of the 53 nations in Expedition Mode three times each. So that's a grand total of 159 matches needed to piece this mosaic together and pick up the 50G. No, thank you. So there you have it, some of the worst achievements seen in FIFA to date. Thanks for watching. Please like if you liked, subscribe if you haven't, and so on. Bye.